Hello guys and welcome back to African Kitchen and remember today we are going to prepare mixture of beans and sweet potatoes and today we are here at Sirare village Sirare village is found here at Mkuyuni ward Mkuyuni ward is at Kabchai constituency Bungoma county and I'm Charity Barasa and here with me I'm with my fellow hosts I am Monica Juma. Thank you so much. Welcome back to Culture Hub TV. I just want to tell you thank you for making us your number one online TV station. Thank you for subscribing and for our returning viewers. Thank you so much. You cannot take that for granted. Remember today we are going to prepare a very delicious meal as my co-host Charity Barasa has just put it across Charity. How are you? Yes, Monica. I'm fine. Nakwambia leo tumemalizwa na kizungu. Na kuambia hapa ni kunoma but remember Monica mm. we are here at Sirare village and our host of guest I think we have to introduce her So just briefly how are we going to prepare these uh, a mix of sweet potatoes and uh, beans I think that one will be briefed by our host We have our host Yes Karibu sana mama Okay Mzuri sana. Okay, my name is Jacqueline Wanyonyi. I come from Serare village. As, they, uh, as a charity, I said it is from Kapchai, Shubungoma constituency. Uh, for today, I've really, I'm really thankful and grateful and I welcome you all at this place as we now we want to cook our cultural meals. Yes. Thank you. So ma'am, what are we going to prepare today for our viewers? We, for today, we are going to cook sweet potatoes, and beans and those meals are normally being accompanied by sour milk for it to be sweet and delicious for each and everyone so will you just uh, briefly tell us uh, how you are going to prepare just the procedure a brief procedure on how you are going to prepare them okay i will just have to do it briefly first of all i just have to make sure that my beans are clean before i start my cooking then once I peel, I, I sort out those ones that are good, and the ones that are bad, I just have to remove them all. Then secondly, I put them on my fire when I've lighted my fire as it goes as it goes on cooking. Now I peel off my sweet potatoes and I I cook them separately. Then afterwards, I make sure that I mix them all, and I not to do the cultural cooking using the cooking stick. Charity. Yes, Monica. You see, today we are going to leave this place on our full stomachs. Do you agree with me? And remember, not only full stomachs, healthy, delicious, then full stomach. And experience in cooking. Experience in cooking, that it will be the first thing we are going to gain. And will you just uh, maybe explain to our viewers what our topic of discussion is? Okay, Monica, today we are going to discuss about how how this the new generation and the old generation they were being me how they used to raise their children you see like the last episode you were talking about how to raise your kid or how to raise children in the village mm -hmm. because many children or many people they are not respecting the elders and they are doing their own things mm -hmm. yeah and remember today due to public demand People requested that we bring on board men. Yeah. They complain that Culture Hub TV has shunned men in this show or in this program. But also today I want I want <laughs> to promise the boy child today yes. that we have your okay, your cries have been heard yes. and today we have a very special guest on the yes. on the show yes. that we are going to introduce him here. Yeah. He will also be assisting us on uh, on uh, how to mentor our young boys so that they can be good yes. men in the society. Yes. Karibu sana kuka. I'm so called the Masai of Flasundwa. Mm -hmm. I came from Bitogo area, Chepukaka. Mm -hmm. Kibichori location, Mukuyuni. Yes. But I'm here as the elders and advisor of young kids. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you so much. Or young boys. Thank yes. you so much. And I ought to make them be as I was grown up by my father and my grandfather. Thank you so much. So guys, as you have seen, this is Mr. Matayo. And with the help of uh, Mama Jacqueline, we are going to discuss on the morals amongst our youth today in the society. So many youth have gone astray. So many youth are just doing things the way they want. They cannot be controlled. They cannot be advised. They feel they have grown up. They feel they have outgrown everybody. So today we are going to discuss on that topic to see the way forward on how we can bring back the youth on the right track. Charity. Monica. So it is our time, I think, to begin the process of now our cooking. You yeah. know, time is also now not on, on our side. Yeah, time is not on our side, mm. and we have to start off. Okay. Okay. Mama Jacqueline. Yes. Take us through the procedures. Pasta Let's pasta. see our beans now. <laughs> now, these, these are beans. I'm going to take them out so that I sort out the good ones and I remove also the bad ones. As I do like this, I want my mess with my beans to be flat and clean for Isha cooking. I've seen our beans are boiling. After boiling, what is the next step? I'm, I'm giving my beans ample time for it to get ready. Yes. In that process, now um, the second thing, I want to peel my potatoes. Mm -hmm. After peeling them, I have to wash them and I cook them separately. Yes. And then uh, after them being ready, I will do the mixing mm -hmm. with the beans. Okay, Monica. Yes, Charity. And you, what are you going to do? Mm, I want to check on uh, what uh, our cooker, Matayo, is actually doing with the, our youth outside there. Yes. So I will leave you with Mama Jackie. Yes. We continue with our discussion today about the moral for many of our youth. Yes. As we continue peeling your potatoes, let me check out on, the, on, on our cooker. Okay, you go and check on thank, him. Thank you so much. Okay, Mama Jacqueline. Yes. Let us start peeling off our potatoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mama Jacqueline. Yes. Why is it that we it is a, it is a must we peel these potatoes? I always see some people they cook them this way. Peeling but potatoes is not a must. It is each and every one is choice. Uh -huh. You can either cook like that or uh -huh. you can decide to peel. Uh -huh. But most in most cases we normally peel them so that uh, we, we don't have that uh, you know the, it has the texture of the of the dot dot peeled peeled ones. Yes. Now when you peel them up, it is uh, when you eat you not have that uh, you not have feel that texture. Uh. Yeah. And why is it that you chose on potatoes? 
I throw some potatoes because yes, it is a, potatoes are uh, more in most cases they are very sweet. Mm -hmm. But it is not a must that you it is um it is not a must that you have to use potatoes. Mm -hmm. You can use even uh, even Irish potatoes. Mm -hmm. You can even use bananas. Mm -hmm. It is each and everyone's choice. So it was just my choice to have uh, to use this. Do you want to say that we can also use bananas? Yeah, mixture bana of you can use me beans can. and bananas. Yeah, in fact, it is, it is very sweet. Wow. That's why I'm saying that it is just your own choice and likeness. You oh. can do what you feel like. And m most people in Western region, they always use sweet potatoes sweet. Yes. and beans. And beans. Hey, and we are going to use to accompany our sweet potatoes and beans mixture with our sour milk. Mm. Why did you choose on sour milk? I chose on sour milk because traditionally we used to eat the, these potatoes or that mixture with the, with the sour milk uh -huh. or even you can use the, the common vegetables. Uh -huh. But for my case, because, the, because of the availability of milk, uh -huh. I decided on that. Oh, and I've seen, I've been told that some people that sour milk they always use some some ash black ash mm. to mix the milk mm. so that they can get some a kind of taste mm. what Act is your take on it actually <clears throat> so most people use that ash <laughs> For, for, for that. But it, but in my major, it's not even for taste. Uh -huh. Because once that milk has slept for two, three days, it already has that sour taste. Uh -huh. Now, adding that uh, black ash, uh -huh. it is just for for color. For my case, mostly it is just for change of the color. Mm -hmm, but that ash mm. in Western region, okay, like. In our culture, in yeah. Western, we normally call it kumuimbwe. Kumuimbwe. Yeah. From which tree? Uh, mostly it comes from. Uh, from uh, even 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 hard hard woods, mm -hmm. and some of them they normally come from soft woods. Mm -hmm. Now it depends with the culture of people mm -hmm. and what they normally use for. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now let's go on the other side. Monica, she's there with her guest. I've seen some men there seated waiting for for Monica to start up her show. Monica, what have you prepared there? Thank you so much, Charity. I believe you are going to prepare for us a very delicious meal. I see you are very busy there in the kitchen. But on my side, we have a Kuka Matayo. Kuka, hmm. today we are here to talk about morals among the youth in the community. But before we start, I want to uh, introduce our guest today. Tanza na hii saidi unaitwa na majina naitwa Dan Katila. Katila. Yeah. Katila ama Katila. Katila. Eh eh. Karibu sana. Ah kwa majina wanaita Austin Barasa. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mimi nikaa hapo village. Mhm. Alafu sasa mimi mimi mjukuu wa kuka. Mhm. Mm Karibu. Kwa hivi na ndugu yangu hapa hivi. Eh eh. Anaitwa nani? Habari tata? Anaitwa Augustine. Acha aseme tuone. Unaitwa nani? Ongea na sauti baba. Una Aga. Mm. Wow, anaitwa Aga Agustin ni ndugu yako, sivyo? Naam. Asante sana, karibu sana kuka. Right. So, what do you think is the problem among the youth? Youths have started disrespecting their elders. Where do you think the rain started beating us? Okay, thanks. Najua vijana wa saizi, usipotumie kiboko. Sisi serikali inatupumbaza ukaleta atusipige mtoto. Lakini mtoto anaangana kiboko. Mhm. Naona kama wangu. Ukitaka ujue vile unaweza kuishi. Fuata vile baba yako anafanya. Fuata vile kuka yako anafanya. Usifuate vile unasoma kwa kitabu. Hata Biblia yenyewe inasema inajisoma yenyewe. Lakini usome Biblia na uongeze yako. Mimi na wapatia wasia hivi. Nyinyi kama vijana wangu na hoi mjukuu wangu. Najua sasa hizi nyinyi mmenawiri mmekuwa vijana. Msisome yaliyo ya wengine. Wangu imefungua. Sasa ni wakati wewe. Ukienda 
si ya lazima utaishi hapa kwa nini utatoka kwenda uishi mahali pengine utanunua shamba mahali pengine utaenda America utaenda Ufaransa na kama utaenda huko mwenye ni mbaya hapo tayari ni mwenye shikilia tu hapo sina kuja kwako unakubaliana na mimi kwamba vijana siku hizi wamepotoka sana kimaadili ama mnaonewa hiyo ni kweli kama kukaa ninavyosema siku hizi ni kama vijana tumeadhirika kimaadili kwa, kwa, kwa sababu wengi wetu tatuona tunatumia vitu kama bangi dawa za kulevya hivi ambavyo vinaathiri afya yetu umeitumia bangi ah kwa kweli <laughs> hapo awali <laughs> mimi nishawaitumia bangi na nimeona athari zake mazo si mzuri kabisa lakini huyu kukaa alikuwa mkali akakunyorosha eh? kabisa nilitendewa maneno mimi <laughs> Ndio <laughs> nakwambia kibogo uh-huh. kibogo ndio kile sasa hivi uh-huh. mimi ni mwana kanisa mnasaidiana na kukapa uh-huh. hata tunaenda kanisa tunasaidia wenzetu ambao wanaathirika kwa kutumia hizi dawa za kulevya uh-huh. mm, tunaungana tumeunda chama cha vijana ambao tunasaidiana uh-huh. mm, kujaribu kusaidiana ili wenzetu pia waweze kuimarika kitabia uh-huh. na wabadilike nafikiri ni hatua nzuri sana ambayo mlichukua mweza kuacha kutumia zile dawa za kulevya upande wangu wa kushoto dan mm. unakubaliana na Austin kwamba vijana wamepotoka kimaadili ama we una mtazamo upi mimi ni nakubaliana na Austin mm-hmm. kwa sababu vijana wengi wale ambao wamepotoka ni wale ambao wana wana wazazi wao mm-hmm. wanasema au ni watoto wacha wafanye vile wanataka mm-hmm. na na wakiwaachili hivyo au vijana wanaenda wakitembea kule nje wanapata groups zingine zile mbaya wanaungana na hizo group na wanaanza kufanya vitu ambavyo havipendezi mm-hmm. alafu hiyo ndio inaletea sasa au vijana wanaona kuwa wamekuwa wakubwa na wanaanza kuacha ku, ku, kuapa wazazi wao heshima mm-hmm. alafu mi babu hapa namshukuru sana kwa, kwa sababu yeye ndiye huwa anakaa na sisi vinyi tuko hapa wili natupatia mawaida anasema mustembi na magroup mbaya mbaya mimi vinyi niko hapa mimi mambo na kutumia hizi dawa ya miadarati sijai jaribu ama umetuona ukaogopa kukubali vile wasini alikubali tu wazuani sijai kabisa sijai tumia hatutasema hapa yes tusema uongo sababu mimi nasema tu kweli babu hapa huwa anakaa na sisi anatuambia madhara yake sasa akituambia hivyo mimi na mimi natilia maanani na akituambia madhara yake unajua wakikuambia madhara ya kitu na uende unini utumie baje mm. kukuadhiri sasa hapo itakuwa wewe mwenyewe ndio utakuwa na asante sana Dan kwa usia huo mzuri kwa vijana tunarudi kwako kukaa jamii na lia sana inanungunika sana kwamba mtoto wa kiume ama boy child ametengwa ama amesahaulika ni ukweli ni ukweli amesahulika kivipi wewe una maoni gani kwa muda wakati wa kama huu kweli mm. vijana wamesahuliwa kwa sababu ikipatikana kwamba kijana ametembea na msichana yote mm. wanajukua jukumu kwa msichana zaidi kupita kijana mhm unaona lakini mtoto ni mtoto mhm sasa sisi wazee kongwe kama mimi mm-hmm. na mimi na vijana wangu na hao mm-hmm. niko na shida kila mara mpaka nikae kama askari ama watchman kulinda watoto nikipotea wasio kwa mhm chunga usiende mahali fulani ambayo pana uh, au stahili mhm serikali imechukulia jukumu kubwa kwa wasichana kuliko vijana mm-hmm. lakini hawajui kwamba vijana pia ni watoto mm-hmm. na wao pia ni serikali mhm sasa hizi wazazi tuna maumivu makuu mm-hmm. ambao tunazaa vijana mm-hmm. lakini wale ambao wanazaa wasichana wamechukua wasichana kama kuwa kama wholesale mhm ama duka la biashara <laughs> kwa sababu eti kijana bora tu amguze mhm hata asimame na yeye mm-hmm. wanachukua jukumu kwamba alipwe sasa mm-hmm. mimi kama mzazi wa msichana ama wa kijana nawezaje kutoa mahari kwa msichana kabla kijana wangu achamoa mhm hmm? na wewe mzazi wa kuzaa msichana mm-hmm. kwa nini ufurahie kwamba unapatiwa mali kabla mtoto wako ajaenda kwa kijana mhm ndipoza mimi nikikana na vijana wangu nawaambia 
chunga na muongoje mpaka wakati itafika mm-hmm. hasa serikali ya Kenya imetupotosha mm-hmm. Itaku, itakuja patikana kwamba <coughs> vijana watakataa kutoa kuoa wasichana wa Kenya wataenda kuoa katika nchi zingine kwa sababu ya kwa sababu masharti ya wasichana iko juu kuliko vijana mm-hmm. eh? na sisi ndio wazazi tunazao lakini mm. serikali imechukua chukumu lingine limekuwa zito kuliko la vijana kwani wenye vijana si wazazi vijana wangu nizingatie sheria kutoka kwa kuka na wazazi wenu muziki yes kumoja mkakeuka sheria mkaenda ati kwa sababu wasichana wana sura nzuri na nyinyi hamuna sura ati muende huko ngoja muda wako ifike ngoja nitamwambia vile tu lakini msirukaruke tu kama kama virukia njia serikali ya saizi imependekeza wasichana kuliko vijana mm-hmm. sasa hapo kuka, wacha nitauliza Austin swali moja hapa kwanza Austin unaona mtoto wa kiume anafinyiliwa na jamii ama amesaulika ama ako tu sawa uh, kwa kweli uh, kijana anafinyiliwa sana katika jamii kivipi usiniambie ulinyimo ugali ama ulikataa kuchunga ngombe ndio kufinyiliwa a sharti masharti ya siku hizi yanakalia vijana sana uh-huh. utampata kijana hata kama kosa ni dogo vipi uh-huh. kachukuliwa watu wakubwa ile punishment ambayo inapewa ilingani na ile ya mtoto wa kike naam uh-huh. uh-huh. yako dan mimi na non levi uh-huh. mtoto wa kiume amefinyiliwa sana uh-huh ilinganisha na mtoto wa kike. Mm-hmm. Kisa na maana. Utaona mtoto wa kiume. Mm-hmm. Akiwa tu barabarani anatembea. Saa zingine anaweza kutana na maybe msichana anapita tu mbele yake. Mhm. Akimsalamia hivi kidogo. Mm-hmm. Mzazi wa msichana akiwa anapita hivi barabarani aone tu hivi. Mm-hmm. Na, na, na anafuata kwa kijana anataka kumshika ampeleke polisi. Mm-hmm. Sasa inaweka kijana anakaa ni wasiwasi. Mm-hmm. Hata akipita tu hata kutu mtoto wa jirani. Mm-hmm. Kum, kumsalamia ama mtoto wa jirani ampata hapo shida aenda msaidie mm-hmm. ana anaofia kwa sababu gani anaofia watamshika wampeleke kwa polisi mm-hmm. si inafanya hata tumeka kama maadui tu majirani tumeka kama maadui mm-hmm. jirani ambaye ako na msichana kama mi babu yangu hapa tuko hapa vijana mm-hmm. An, tunaogopa sasa tuweze saidia mtoto wa msichana wa jirani mm-hmm. sasa hiyo ile inaleta utengano kati ya majirani mm-hmm. Hmm. Umeongea mambo mazito sana hapo. Lakini ni vizuri kuongea usikike pia kama serikali inatuona iweze kuchukua hatua mwafaka, si ndio? Oh, Dan. Nataka unipe program yako. Wewe unapoamka asubuhi. Program yako ni vipi hadi siku inakamilika unapumzi, unakwenda kupumzika? Kwanza kabisa. Uh-huh. Mimi ninapoamka asubuhi vile babu 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 anatupatia anatugawa kazi kazi ya kufanya ni kazi wanaamka kana anaangalia sungura zangu hizi ngurua na, na ziangalia zimelalaje ni zitoni ni nizifunge ni ziweke pale penye panahitajika ikulie pale na nachukua jembe nenda shambani kwenda shambani kitoka huko natafuta chakula kabisa ya kulisha hizi nini hizi sungura zangu na kuja nazo na, na kuja na hiyo chakula napatia hizi nini sungura alafu ngurue pia na fungule zinatembea kwa sababu hizo hawezi tafutia chakula zenyewe zinatafutia uh-huh. baada ya pale na hakikisha nashika nachukua mtungi naenda naenda maji naleta kwa nyumba na hakikisha maji kwa nyumba haiwezi kosa uh-huh. tena kutokea hapo nasaidia nasaidiana na ndugu yangu hosti ni hapa naenda kutafuta tunaenda tunachunga ngombe kule tunahakikisha ngombe imekula nyazi imeshiba. Alafu hmm. tunarejesha nyumbani saa tisa kamili. Hapo sasa kuanzia saa tisa, tunaangalia shughuli yenyewe iko kama ni kusaidia kupasulia mama kuni pale hivyo. Hmm. Ama kusaidia mama shughuli yote nyana anataka tumsaidie. Kama babu ameshatoka ameenda kule kukana na wazee wenzake. Mhm. Hivyo ndio wote tunafanya. Alafu ikifika majioni hmm. tunahakikisha kuwa watoto kama kina gas ni yao wako kwa nyumba wameka wana watch tv ni hayo tu asante sana bila shaka anaonekana ni kijana ambaye uh, ni mkakamavu sana katika maisha yake na ni kijana mwenye bidii Austin kwa dakika moja unusu 
nataka unipe program yako ya siku Ah mimi nikiamka asubuhi kuhakikisha ngombe wamefunguliwa mimi mm -hmm. usafisha pale ambapo ngombe ngombe wamelala alafu mm -hmm. naenda kukamua kuhakikisha kuwa maziwa yapo tayari kupika chai asubuhi tukisha kunywa chai alafu mimi huenda kuwachunga ngombe na ndugu yangu hapa hivi dan kuhakikisha kuwa ameshiba kuachotea maji kisha jioni tuarejesha alafu basi kuhakikisha kuwa mifugo wote wamefungwa wapo salama watoto wame watoto wameoshwa wako kwa nyumba hivyo basi mm -hmm. mm. asante sana kuka kuka naona unafanya kazi nzuri sana kulingana na maelezo ya hawa vijana ni kwamba vijana wakakamavu sana wanajishughulisha na mambo mihimu anga kuhakikisha maisha ya wazazi yanasonga mbele kwa utaratibu bila uh, tashwishwe ama wasiwasi wowote lakini nina swali moja kwa hawa vijana wakinijibu basi watakuwa wamekomaa kwa wanaume wa Kiafrika kweli dan kati ya nyumba na boma unaelewa maana ya nyumba si ndio naam na unaelewa maana ya boma naam kati ya nyumba na boma ni kipi cha mwanamke na ni kipi cha mwanamume kati ya nyumba na boma mm. nyumba mhm mm nyumba ni, ni ya mwanamke mm -hmm. lakini boma boma ni ya mwanamume mm -hmm. gani... shikilia, shikilia hapo kwanza usieleze sababu nataka Austin pia nipe kati ya nyumba na boma ni kipi cha mwanamke kipi cha mwanamume ah, boma boma huwa ya mwanamume halafu nyumba ni ya mwanamke mm -hmm. una sababu gani ya kusema hivyo kwa sababu nyumba mm -hmm. kwa nyumba ndani kile kitu ambacho kiko katika, katika nyumba mm -hmm. mwanamke ndiye inafaa ajue lakini boma mm -hmm boma ni mwanaume kwa sababu boma ili boma isipoangaliwa na mwanaume mm. mtu yote anaweza toka nje na anaingia kwa boma mm -hmm. anaanza kufanya vitu vyake lakini mtu atoke nje apite kwa boma aingie kwa nyumba ndani alafu anaanza kufanya vitu vyake itakuwaaje amepita amepita hapo nje bila baba kujua mhm mm usiwe una sababu gani ya kusema kwamba boma ni la mwanaume ili hali nyumba ni ya mwanamke mm, kwa mtazamo wangu mm -hmm. boma kusema kuwa ni ya mwanaume yakisha kuwa kila kilichomo mseme mm, kinachozingira nyumba hicho basi mwanaume hufaa kuwa ana mwanaume huwa anafaa kuwa anasimamia anahakikisha kuwa kila kitu kipo kinavyofaa tuseme kuwa shamba ulinzi upo mm, naam asante sana kuka unakubaliana na majibu ya hawa vijana wako boma ni mwanamke nyumba ni mwanamke shikilia hapo kwanza nataka tu ni waape kongole manake ni kama wamekuwa sawa Austin congratulations Dan pia hongera kwa kuweza kufuata utamaduni wenu kisawa sawa na mshikilie hapo kwa ufupi tu naweza kuelezea hawa vijana mwanamume haswa anastahili kuangalia nini na nini kwenye boma ama anastahili kufanya nini anapoamka asubuhi Mwanaume anapoamka asubuhi kitu ya kwanza kitoka tu kwenye mbele aone anaangalia zizi la ngombe li, wanyama wake wako mm -hmm. la pili vijana na wasichana wake familia wako wamelala vipi mm -hmm. baada hiyo awapangie kazi mm -hmm. kwa shamba ama wengine hata naweza kuwatuma nenda fulani fulani mfanye kazi fulani hiyo ndio boma mm -hmm. neno la boma Mm -hmm. Na mama nyumba ni yake. Mm -hmm. Vilivyo ndani vyote ni yake. Hata mimi pia niko chini yake. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu nyumba inalindwa na mama. Lakini wanaume analinda boma. Boma lao hata paka kwa shamba, hata kama mtoto aka Amerika ako chini ya ya mzazi. Mm -hmm. mm. Asante sana. Tutashikilia hapo. Tukisonga upande ule mwingine, tuone Charity na Mama Jacqueline wanaendelea vipi ama wanatuandalia nini ama maandalizi yao yamefikia wapi? Kumbuka mtazamaji, hii ni Culture Hub TV. TV yako nambari moja kwenye mtandao. Asante sana kwa kutofanya kuwa nambari moja kwenye mtandao wa YouTube. Hebu tusenge kule upande mwingine tuone mambo yanakwenda vipi. Tutakuwa tunarejea kwa gumzo letu tukimalizia tu masuala ya mtoto wa kiume tukiwa ama tuko usaidizi wa mzee Matayo ambaye amekaa hapa kando yangu usisonge mbali Hey Charity Monica how is everything so far with Mama Jacqueline here Okay everything is fine 
and our beans are still boiling. Mm -hmm. We want to check on them if they are ready then. Okay, see, Mama Jacqueline will uh, mm -hmm. okay. Let me check if our beans are ready. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are ready. They are ready? Yeah. So what is uh, the next step? The next step, I'm um, going to put from the boiler. Then I pour them on a sofuria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to mix them with the sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. Then after mixing, I make sure that I stir them to the finest. My meal is ready to be served. Let me serve now. Mm -hmm. I know you, know, you wanted me to use this. What are you going to serve this meal with? Today? This meal with the sour milk. Sour milk. Yeah. So now we prepare the milk. We prepare the milk. Mm -hmm. okay. This milk oh, is nice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add their black ash. I'm adding their black ash mm -hmm. for it to change the color. And it can even add some a small test mm -hmm. and i'm also told that it also acts as a deworming substance it is a deal exactly you know during our during their ancient times yes they did not have this uh, modern deworming drug mm -hmm. so they used to they used this black ash and mm -hmm. that's why it is always derived from a special plant yeah so that it acts as a, a deworming substance yeah. when you take uh, now you want to say that today we are going to deworm ourselves. Uh, it is part yeah, of you are deworming yourself today <laughs> by taking this milk. <laughs> and we haven't used any money to buy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is it not is that cheapest. bad. It's not that bad. Only that when you... Okay, it will... Uh, uh, it smoothens your digestion. It makes your digestion so easy, mm -hmm. so that when you go there, the other side now, uh -huh. it, it, things are just <laughs> <Okay>. smooth. <laughs> they are just smooth, you do not struggle.
now my meal is ready. We want us to have a meal. And before that, let us have a pray before we start eating. Our dear living master, it is another moment of provide a meal. Ask you to bless it as you take. Just my prayer and believe. Amen. Hi, Karibuni. Thank you, Mama Jacqueline. Welcome. I've seen you have really prepared a very nice and delicious meal. Thank you. <coughs> and I have seen one of us who doesn't use milk. Why? Austin. Um, actually, I'm not uh, in a good mood because I have a stomach ache. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we just have it minus in some yeah. milk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's have fun. Who's na aga? And remember, they said we have to include men and mm -hmm. boys in African kitchens so that they taste and their boy wish, child. Their wish is yeah. our command. Yeah. Wakisema tunatenda. Tunaitikia. Wakikohoa? Naitika. Naitika. Aga, sasa, ni tamu. Kuna babi kunya mazu. Kuna babi kunya mazu. Today you have learned more about on how to prepare delicious, sweet and nutritious food which is made of the mixture of beans and sweet potatoes. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment on our YouTube channel Culture Hub TV, Facebook Culture Hub TV, Instagram Culture Hub TV and Twitter at Culture Hub Twitter. And Monica, mm -hmm. on the next episode, what are we going to prepare? Mm, charity, on our next episode, we are going to prepare that identity mm -hmm. of the Luya community. Mm -hmm. Some call it Kumbe Kumbe, mm -hmm. some call it Chiswa, mm -hmm. but we call them termites. Mm -hmm. Termites, am I right? Termites, yes. Mm. And these termites will be taken by White Ugari. So keep it locked to Culture Hub TV. It has been a very interesting conversation with our two guests, yes. our host, Mama Jacqueline, and our other guests here, Mr. Matayo. They have been of very, very, very great help. And we have had our youth here. It was a very nice interaction with Austin and Dan here. I believe they have learned something about how to uh, how to take um, how to get along with elders in the home or in the village that is in general life how to keep themselves uh, well healthy and uh, uh, both spiritually and morally and i believe the teachings that we have uh, got from uh, our mama and our kuka here will help them so much so much Remember to watch, like, subscribe and share and also ring that notification bell so that when we upload our new videos we will be the first one to get notified. Remember this is your favorite show and I've been your host Monica Juma and I am Charity Barasa. It has been your interesting show The African, African Kitchen. Kitchen and it's only on Culture Hub. TV. TV. Until next time. Bye bye. bye.